This is Carola with SDMetal.com. We are here at the Congress of the World Tour at the House of Blues in Los Angeles. I'm here with Tommaso from Flesh God. How are you doing tonight? Good. Very good. <laughs> good. It's good to have you. How are you feeling being... You're on, you're on the last leg of this tour, aren't you? It's, uh, we got a few more gigs, like uh, six or seven, including okay. Mexico. We're going to have two gigs in Mexico after this, uh, Guadalajara and Mexico City. So we're, you know, not by the end, but almost. And okay. it, you know, it feels good. It's the first time we do uh, co-headlining, and it's been surprisingly good, even more than expectations. So we're really proud. What's the moment that you've had on this tour, or a couple of moments where you're just like, wow, we did not expect this to happen? Uh, I would say probably the show in New York City, Gramercy Theater, it was okay. pretty packed and that was amazing because, you know, as I told you, I mean, it's the seventh tour we do in the U.S. and Canada. Wow. Uh, so we, we did a lot in four or five years, uh, but it's the first time that we actually come out with a longer set. We play one hour and it's, and it's actually a co-headlining and all the other times were you know, supporting roles. So this time obviously was, you know, everything was unknown. We, we could, it could be super good, it could be super bad because even, you know, we have confidence because we know that we have a good fan base here and, you know, as well as for septic flesh, but still, you know, it's the first time, so you never know what's going to happen. So I, I would say, in general, the whole thing is, is you know, has been really good. So we're very satisfied to be like this for the first time. How was it playing in Japan? I absolutely loved your photos there. It's so funny. I'm always, I don't know why, I'm always so shocked to see the metal scene there. But you guys looked like you were very well embraced in Japan. I yes. That yeah, that was that was incredible. Like it was the first time, and even if you're you, you know your name is out there the first time you go to some place it's always pretty tough because you also need to to play live music in you know in, 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 the, in every place to to you know to draw more people the next time and whatever but that one you know like was the first time and it was incredibly good we had all sold out shows on five wow. five sold out shows. And, and 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 the crazy thing is that the last three shows were all in Tokyo, and we did the first two sold-out shows with uh, the Black Dye Murder, and then the last gig was a headlining gig because they were asking for more tickets for Flash God Apocalypse. So that's been amazing. So, so that was like a last-minute book show. Yeah, we we had like three three shows in a row in, in Tokyo, and the last one was headlining and was packed completely. So you know, it's been great, and and really I have to say. The crazy thing about Japan is also that fans there are, are real fans. <laughs> there, wow. we, we had like uh, 15 to 20 guys who came to all the shows and tour. So they were driving from city to city every day, like for one week to see wow. the whole thing. So that was like moving. <laughs> That's dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. something you don't see. Amazing. No, it's, it's, it's crazy. They love it. And, and once they love something, they really support it. So we had. You know, it, it was so good. So we're we're already planning to go back. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about your soon-to-be graduation with mm -hmm. your pharmacy degree. Congratulations! Thank you. And you talked about in an interview how the two are, are connected, even though you know one is science and logic, and some people say a lot of people put them on opposite spectrums. So the arts and one kind of spectrum of thought, and then science and the logical part of the brain. But you commented on how they were connected. My question for you is, what kind of common struggles did you find in each? What was hard for you to learn and overcome when you were taking these science classes? What was hard for you to learn and overcome as you were developing in the music business? For a long time, I had a big, big struggle between these two parts. In the meaning that, uh, you know, my, my family is, uh, my, my father is a scientist in medicine and my mother's pharmacist. My sister is a doctor in gastroenterology. My brother does another thing in uh, financial, but he's graduated too. So my family has this kind of mentality. And I felt that for some reason, I had to accomplish this kind of thing because I felt that it's something that is of my family. To be graduated 
besides the fact that I like science, I love science, so I did okay. I did something that I like. But even the fact itself of you know finishing this this thing that I started was really important for me. So for for for, for a long time, what happened is that I had a very very big struggle between the two things because I I kind of I don't want to say I felt guilty for doing something else, but of course I felt like you know something was not accomplished if I couldn't finish this and I could never feel completely free to dedicate myself to music without this wow so now it took a long time to put things together and understand that this is this is what is really important and what connects the two things that I, actually every one of us is made by many different parts and they all have need to be accomplished and if you try to ignore one of them it's a big trouble right because you can feel like you know broken inside right so lately I have to say pretty you know it happened pretty late I started to understand that beside the expectations of my family that anyway support me as a musician still it was something you know more connected to myself I needed to accomplish the whole thing to feel better in every aspect so when I started considering the fact that I needed to finish the university I also understood that this was you know was not stealing time from music but was supporting myself in a way you know my dignity to feel much better even as a musician and it started to you know free everything inside you know it's like a domino thing it's a that's incredibly and that's incredibly admirable it's you know it's it's like that everybody everybody has you know his different you know issues in in my case this was the ma the main thing i really needed to satisfy every single part to be you know to feel comfortable with myself and some, you know, some, someone else could, you know, just choose. Okay, I want to do this. I want to play music, and so fuck it. I don't want to, you know, go on with that. But in my case, for how I am, I needed to do that, even for for the music itself. But wow. you know, it, it feels good because I, I'm almost by the end. So. What else do you still have to do? Do you have to take like another exam? You got textbooks in the bus, or? <laughs> uh, no, I mean I'm, I'm writing the thesis for like okay. it's, 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 that's the the final thing, the final exam. And uh, actually, in Italy, once you 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 write the thesis and you and you obviously you have to go there and talk about it and do a speech. Right. After that, to have the habilitation to the you know. To be to get to be able to work as a pharmacist or as a even in research or whatever, you also have to do another like state exam that is oh super hard. So I'm gonna do that also after that. It, it's never ending. On but top of your thesis, God, <laughs> I thought the yeah, university was here for hard. If, if everything goes as planned, I will graduate on uh, October the 23rd. And after that, probably the state exam is like one every six months. So probably on February or something like that, I will be able to give that, and then I will be. Done. And then done finally. Yeah, finally. Goodness. Yes. Well, back on a lighter note, because <laughs> yes. I know you love talking about school, right? Um, one reason I actually love, I love the way in which bands are really starting to branch out on their merch, you know, and. I think Flesh God does that stupendously because you find the way to store a stomach. You find that like, that like the wines and the pastas, like they're amazing. I love it. I have a theory that you guys should just start opening your own delis here. <laughs> like, so what was kind of the inspiration for for reaching your merch out into into those sort of ways, like food and beverages and things like that? What was the inspiration? It's for that? Uh, you know, in, in, in some way, it's it's exactly the, the the same thing we were talking about because it's it's about exporting an idea that goes beyond just you know just playing music, but exporting something that is the idea of of music, of our image, and also the fact that we come from Italy, and that's a right. and that's a pride for us. So um, some people see it like uh, I mean there's a lot of people that is criticizing what we're doing on, on that side because they're like oh what does you know wine or pasta have you know with, with music but it's the same thing with t-shirts I don't see why t-shirts would have anything to do with music you know what I mean it's, it's merchandise so people like it and why why not to do that and also the cool thing is that we are doing it because 
the, the, the stuff that we're selling is actually the real thing because it's from Italy. I and it's, love uh, that. It's not, you know, we're not, we're not just taking a random wine and selling it. <laughs> we are taking, we are, we're selling a wine that is from the area where we live in. Oh. And it's one of the most famous area for wine in the world. So that's, wow. that's like, okay, you know, we want to do this because it, because it's cool, because it's, it's something also to say, hey, we come from this place and we have this kind of stuff and it's part of our heritage because in many places in the world uh, like cuisine is not considered something cultural but for Italians is because for us it's a form of art it's not just eating just for surviving it's a form of art no. so when I'm back home I like cooking and I do that because to me, it's an artistic expression, not just eating. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I, I mean, it, it, it is deep, actually, even if it doesn't look like probably. You know, you feel like oh, you can't win with people because oh, they want something different than t-shirts and patches. So you come up with pasta, and you're like, well, that's crazy. What does pasta have to do with metal? It's <laughs> well, like you yeah. can't win. But I, I love the concept. And you will not, much. you will never find that anywhere else because that right. the place where the where we, we take that pasta is a place in our area and it's a, it's a very small uh, factory and it's handmade so I mean you know it, it's, it's, it's the real stuff. And my last question for you actually coming back uh, to the music a little bit I'm just curious if you could uh, write a song or collaborate with a non-metal musician, composer, band, what have you who would you compose or write with and why? Wow there are so many, but for uh, me personally, I would choose Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam wow. because he is my idol, absolutely, like the best for me, nothing like that. Because I mean, he's he's one of the few, you know, guys from 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 the grunge music from Seattle who survived it, right? Actually, and there's a reason why I think because he's a uh, very wise man and I really like everything he writes both musically and especially for the lyrics because you can see that he's been through serious shit but he came out and so it's a uh, to me it's a great inspiration and so I, I really I really love the, the kind of sensitivity that he has in music and in lyrics so if I could choose I would choose Eddie Vedder no doubt this has been one of the best interviews I think I've ever had. Thank you so much, Tomasa, for joining us on SD Metal. Look forward to the show. Thanks.